Bullet lists are so useful. You can use them to indicate the time on a tutorial. You can use it for your ingredients of a recipe. You could use it for the times of your fitness club. And in this video, I'm going to show you a slightly different way, unusual way of creating your own bullet lists. I'm going to start off in the media pool. What's important is we're going to be in the bins up here. In fact, let's create a new bin and I'm going to call this bin bullets. And then in this bin, right click and select new fusion composition. We'll call the composition bullet lists. Now, did you know you can create fusion compositions from the media pool? We can just double click on this bullet list. Lo and behold, the fusion page opens with a media out node. I'm going to grab a background and I'm in the mood to press F2 and we're going to call it canvas. We're going to drop the alpha of the background and I'm going to pop it in that little window there. Now, what's unusual here is I've now got keyboard shortcuts and this is coming up in another video. If I press T, it just drops a text node in, adds it together with a merge. Wow, we're off to the races. I'm going to put the merge in that viewer. Let's rearrange it. I prefer to have it on top. Inside the inspector, I'm going to press DR hash. Right, it's DaVinci Resolve for me. That is magic. And then what I'm going to do is come down to horizontal anchor. To make this bullet list, we actually have to copy this node just down here we can click right click and paste instance and we get an instance instances are really Ooh. good very efficient and they're going to connect that instance to the merge and i get another merge now i'm going to put this merge in this window over here here's where the magic happens we go into the instance text and we go straight to shading and we want shading eight but we don't want shading eight on the text node we only want it on the instance node so what you can do is just here where it says select element we can de-instance and then we can go here if we look over here then it's not selected because we de-instance the selection now just to make sure i'm also going to come where it says enabled right click and de-instance this as well and then i'm going to tick that box Every text node has eight layers or eight elements that you can utilize. Number two is an outline, number three is a shadow, number four is a border, and five, six, seven, and eight is a step song that we don't talk about anymore. It's time to begin, I'll count it in. Five, six, seven, eight. But they're elements that we can use and do anything we want with them. It's going to be like magic. Come down to appearance, right click, and do de instance. We don't really need to do this, but I just don't want DaVinci Resolve to get a little confused or upset. I'm going to select this one, which is called Border Fill. And now in my viewer two, I've just got blocks of white. Come down to level. Again, I'm going to de-instance just so we don't confuse DaVinci Resolve and change this to line. I've now got a big block of white. Come down to type, right click, de-instance type and select image. Come down to image source, select de-instance, select clip. Come down to color file, select de-instance and then click browse. Navigate to your favorite bullet PNGs. Well, I've just got this mess on the screen. Come down a bit further and where it says image edges, go de-instance and select black. We then come down to mapping level, de-instance and set that to line. <gasps> We're getting there. We've got a bullet on the text. What I'm going to do here is just up, I'm going to select map in size, de-instance that, because we can use that to actually change the size of our PNG. Map in angle, I'm going to de-instance that, because we can use that to spin our PNG. So if we wanted to give our bullet some animation, then we can do so. Now all we need to do is come to the layout tab, and on the center, you guessed it, the instance and then just move it across and oh no what's Ooh. happened here I seem to have too much so let's come back here what we've done wrong this is what i've done wrong i haven't turned number one off so we have already taken these off this one just make sure the instance and uncheck that so now we've got the bullet Whew, rescued me there now i can move the bullet here like that what I'm going to do is click Merge 2. I'm going to click Transform and I'm going to connect that to Media Out. Media Out's red. It's not happy because it's not in a viewer, but now it's in a viewer. I'm just going to use the Transform to slide it over there and move it up a bit. Uh, let's just give that a little bit more room. Okay, there we go. Drum roll. Can't finish now. What's different is if we come into this text one node and we come to a new line, and let's say we do Black Magic Fusion. Oh, straight away, we've got another bullet added, although they're a bit out of line. So what's happened here and um, what is happening is this is the anchor is still. 
connected so let's just bring that back close them over there and then i can bring them back here but did you notice that i don't have to have loads and loads of notes if i come down here let's do black magic design and straight away it brings our png image in and there we have our bullet list so a really unusual way just slightly different a couple of nodes and then well actually one two three four five six nodes we've got to have that one and these appear anyway so pretty much text node in an instance brings us this but here's some more magic if i go back to the edit page there's nothing on my timeline because we created this inside the media pool now we can bring it to any timeline so there we go we have a weird solution to making your own bullet lists i might make some but you do need to supply your own pngs that's it for this video enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching